I think I'm kidding. <laughs> I think in perfect world, no. Like, uh, I don't think you're kidding, but I do think that for the bottom rune, Ramses not scaling up just yet. Swashbuckle, now a bit of body block, burial and finished off by Fauna, actually, to get the first blood. Pretty sure, anyways. Solo choosing to go for Voodoo Restoration so he can win these... Uh, man fights but the app store simultaneously does manage to get the passive and as the passive prox tries to use the swashbuckle it's still not going to be enough damage Goodbye, gets the yeah, shield but purification will finish him off and now fod is going to be in trouble as well another swipe from the hammer not going to be good enough the magic wand keeps him alive he does have a healing salve as well pops it as he gets into the trees but immediately gets hit by ramses he's going to be stuck in a corner here trapped out by solo solo may end up dying for this one but at least he'll ensure the abandon goes down oh regen Oh, got the passive proc on a solo. So Fada is going to be able to get a lot of damage onto him here. The paralyzing cast doesn't mount the purification, does a lot of damage to Fada. And now with the Maledict, did they get a little bit more damage? Fada will end up dying here. And so he goes. Yapsor has Swashbuckle up in a second. So should be able to get away from Ramses pretty easily. They're Do you think it's chilling. another one of those situations where they identified the important hero? Just yeah. countered it as much as possible. In this case, the Lone Druid, mid one. Good repel out from Ramses to make sure he keeps up with the mid one, keeps him slowed down. Solo, make sure to use the magic wand. He knew exactly what mid one was going go for there. Too. Yeah, Puppy's caught by the spirit siphon. He's dead from your ultimate. Yep. So if he gets off his heal, you uh, there. I don't think there's any way you Old kill the Roger. enchantress. Slowed up. Oh, Burrow strikes the low ground after LSA. he gets hit by the LSA, dodging a little bit for the sandstorm. He is definitely dead. It's just a question of how long he can serve. They still have an Aegis though. It seems like they want to try to use it, but. Bro, strike in, Puppy, paralyzing cast. They do have the Euphonic Shield to try and help out Puppy, and Ramses actually takes a lot of physical damage here. He may actually die the Aegis. Ah, Purification is gonna be able to keep him alive, keep that Aegis up. Now the Death Prophet on top, mid one. Yule Scepter buys him a little bit of time, though. Back to the line. Nice Burrow Strike from Roger. Does manage to nail a couple of those heroes. Yeah, I'm sort of managed to get off the Rolling Thunder, though, and just rolling around, knocking up these heroes. The problem is, they're just still not doing enough damage to deal with the cores. They may have killed Solo, the Witch Doctor, but Ramsey's is still alive and well. Uh-oh, now Pasha's gone a little bit too deep, though. Caught in the Freezing Peel, the Puppy, and eliminated by the Swashbuckle. Ace barely managed to get away from no one. The Exorcism still out, but VP have to retreat. They definitely ran far too deep in the secret space. And Secret Hold, and their high ground is still very powerful. Fada is not an easy kill. He's got a Solar Crest. Being able to pop his ult is one thing, but executing him is another. Ace barely managed to get out there, too. They go back for Fada. No borrowed time. They know that, too. They slow him down. Yapsor. What can he do here? Swashbuckle. Hop, 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 hop. Oh. Yapsor, get out of there. Yeah, you, you can't do anything without Rolling Thunder, my friend. No one is going to take a lot of damage from Ace right now. Yapster is going to try and finish him off with the Swashbuckle. Gets into the trees. That's going to be helpful. Mid one throws out the Laguna Blade. Instead, going for Ramses. Will be able to finish him off. Yapster jumps back in and managed to get the Shield Crash kill. Next up, Yule Scepter on Roger to get the LSA. Nice turnaround by Secret. When he goes to the high ground, they just all focus him. Lena Stitz. They all still hit pretty hard on the side of Secret. Epicenter charging in. They're going to go for the back line, see if they can blow up the Lone Druid. They do get him. Yapsor comes in with Rolling Thunder, setting up mid one to be able to go for the kill on Roger. He does manage to get that one. Hurricane Pike back to the back lines. Nice interruption, though, with Puppy in the freezing field. He's going to get the almost a full duration. He may die, but he got a lot of damage out. And now the Death Prophet may end up going down mid one. He's gone. Was able to kill him. Ramses just couldn't save him in time with the Guardian Angel. Now slowed down by Fauna. Managed to get the Curse of Vernus hit. If he's not careful, though, Pasha might actually kill him. But now Pasha's got a little bit too close. Yapsor managed to get the uh, passive proc onto him. Four staff into the high ground. Ramses. Now with all that movement speed, hoping to be able to stay ahead. Roger is sitting on the low ground right now, wondering if he's needed. But it looks like Ramses is fast enough, thanks to Rappel taking off the passive. He's going like, for uh, KB now. Ace is going to go on this, by the way. Asha might just be dead here. In fact, I'm pretty certain he is. Doesn't get a hard spear or proc, but they do get Puppy to slow down Pasha long enough for Ace to be able to get here. Pasha gets a little bit farther away thanks to the Hurricane Pike, but Yapsor blocks him in with a nice blink. Swashbuckle only hits a couple of times. He's beginning to heal up a decent amount. Yapsor hits him with a shield crash, a little bit more damage. Another Swashbuckle. The insist one Pasha should be dead. Lands it. Dominating spree for Yapsor. Yapsor's 5, 2, and 7. I know you said you didn't really like the Pango 4 position, but... Pretty clearly... One of the best talents in the game. Like, why would you not go for it? 
what level of curse of avernus like speed 50 percent 50 percent roger just stunned. goes ahead and initiates all by himself while his team is trying to catch up after they're in the roshan pit yule scepter buys them a little bit of time nice silence in from no one Blinks roger still in trouble though in snared up and now the rolling thunder bouncing around immediately blinks on ramses finally activates his bkb goes for the guardian angel but they're losing a lot of heroes and ramses he's gonna wear out of this guardian angel soon and aces damage will start meaning something but ramses is gonna chain on truck and he's gonna be able to slow down these heroes fada activates his brow time finally gets off the mince coil onto ramses Ramsey's not feeling comfortable going for the dive for a third time in a row. BP. The salves. Solo with the salves. <laughs> His death salves. The foreshadowing, man. It, don't it, life just comes full <laughs> circle at you. <laughs> nice double silence there, but look at the damage being laid out into that Death Prophet. Roger finally initiates, and now no one pops BKB. The Rolling Thunder controls up the Sand King. Yapso gets stuck up on the cliff area. And now they start pursuing, seeing if they can catch up with some of these heroes. Alina's out a little bit too far, though. Pasha starts dishing out the damage. High ground, no misses whatsoever. And now Fada's actually going to be forced into a bar of time usage, possibly. Yule Scepter onto the Omni Knight, see if they can get the stun. They do. They're going to try and blow him up, see if they can actually take away his Aegis without a whole lot of commitment. But Ramsey stays alive for the time being. Couple more shots with low Druid. Woo! Barely stays alive, 40 HP, but the Death Prophet does not. And he died! I think he got hit by a bouncing lightning proc. Now Rams is going to come back. Guardian Angel pops. He's going to go for the kill on Fada, but this is very clearly a loss for VP. Fada gets a borrowed time off. Look at Ramsey's go. <sighs> Explodes. All three cores from the side of Virtus Pro are still really farmed. The good news. It's just that you're not feeling the impact of the supports anymore. Yeah. He's getting close to the uh, Rolling Thunder cooldown. So with all this damage, maybe he goes to Swashbuckle? You think so? It's possible. I, I think Rolling Thunder is incredibly good. But just the fact that he has built up both a Basher and MKB and he's building a Daedalus, he might consider second. They're going high ground again. This would be the fourth attempt at high ground for them. Well, they will get an objective this time. They'll get the range racks. Oh, she's got to be careful here. Has the Aegis. This time around, he's going to be their high grounder. Yeah, Looks like they're that. waiting for no one to get his ults naturally. No one blinks in and silences, but it's not the spell you got to be worried for, friend. Mid one. Challenging Pasha here, does Thunder. have a repel on him. Backline solo is going to be caught by the Rolling Thunder. They do manage to get the Insane on the Yapsor, so he's going to be caught outside of the base. Yeah, secret. Do not pursue. He did not expect that, uh, that Insane. He thought he was all fine, well, and dandy. I think that's the first time he's been caught by that one. The epicenter is going to be coming in for that blink for nice two man burrow strike. Instantly popping the borrow time, seeing if he can get the aphotic shield onto mid one. Can't afford the, that Lita to die, but he does end up going down anyway. So an instant buyback comes out from him. Puppy going to go for the freezing field. BKB activated by no one as he goes for this. He's going to be able to take that and maybe the melee racks, but with the buyback of mid one, they're actually going to start chasing away VP. No one dropping lower and lower as Ace continues to right click at him but pasha is actually running a little bit low on mana so his infinite shots are not going to be coming out anymore and they need that damage ramsey's drops perilously low as the laguna blade brings him down but the bkb as well as the repel will keep him alive for now pasha oh my goodness both him and ramsey on no hp no one is actually on zero percent he dies pasha managed to get away on just 50 ramsey's something similar here oh no nope, never mind he's caught him all right, Aegis, but he is going to get a repel from his buddy here. Ramses comes down to low ground, gives him that magic immunity that they desperately need. Pasha trying to slow down some of these heroes. They'll get away. Doing the slow roll through bid. Going for the push. High ground ward to allow Pasha to get some damage on the melee racks from the low ground. Chased away a little bit. They're going to get a lot of damage onto this bear. Solo almost dying. Yapter actually with the roll in is going to go for some of those backline heroes. Hopes to be able to hit Solo a little bit more. Nice landing there. But you know what? Dropping low. Laguna Blade. Now he gets off the good spirit side. But he's actually healing up so much with the BKB. And Ramsey one. just battling that. Going for mid one as best as possible. Fawn is going to drop low. Borrow time going to be activated by him. Puppy is definitely dead. But no one needs to be able to get out of here. Again, threatened by Ace. Nice. Three man Burrow Strike. Beautiful setup by Roger to be able to stall these heroes up as much as possible. No one jumping forward. Not a Line HP on him, but he's feeling comfortable as VP chase back Secret. Still not able to get that melee rack set with a buyback on the lone druid. Secret will be able to hold once again. And being able to defend mid one there. Model that double damage. 
Get the 54 minute runes. Get an arcane rune and illusion. I can't believe Fada's late game bottle is paid off. <laughs> no one. Has a Trying to search for something here, flinging forward with the Shivas. Oh, Epicenter gonna come out. Look at that, bro. Shy getting all four. Pango's gonna get blown up first. In the back lines, they're gonna try and take down mid one. He pops a cheese, but he's still gonna end up dying here. So Yule Scepter goes off. It's gonna come right back down to Earth and fall. Double kill for Pasha on the front lines, though. Solo is actually battling with Fauna. He'll definitely die from that one. Roger's trying Ace to hit these trying heroes to in the back satanic line. Up. Ace, satanic up. He'll a little bit more of the Spirit Siphon, as well as the damage coming out from Ramses. We'll finish him off. And he is dead for two minutes' time. There was a buyback out from the Lina. Everyone trying to buy back, but they've got no lone druid. He's the majority of their damage. He has it on timer. It's actually 1300 gold that he's missing right now for the lone druid. They did not plan this one out. Pasha gets hit, almost drops there. And the 200 HP, hit. oh, and he gets him. Yep, Yapsor blinks out and hits a beautiful swashbuckle. That might actually just delay the game again. And he gets 2000 gold for that. He is so, look at him go. Click, click, click. I feel like the uh, this is the most common like late game high ground area is that uh oh solo get out of there he's got a four staff he's got to go scepter Roger. no one nullifier actually on the fada. fada he will lose that oh this is the nice timing scepter. Roger with the old scepter that means Fada's not going to be able to heal a whole lot solo with a ghost scepter goes out but mid one has a glimmer cave Pasha's to be able to dodge the impetus shots got to get away from Pasha right now he is far too dangerous the officer looks like he used rolling thunder at some point Roger Kind of press forward. They want to try to catch something. But Yapsor's going to drag the creep wave with him. He's going to get stunned up. Roger's going to be able to catch in. Now the silence Silenced. plus the nullifier. And Yapsor is definitely caught. He is going to pay for that. Oh, no. And he doesn't have buyback either. Three minutes. Oh, oh Yapsor. That might have finally tilted this game. To VP's favor, too. enough for them to be able to end this. Solo's just gonna charge right on through, gets the paralyzing cast, two man for a strike. Nice setup in the back lines with the paralyzing cast, still hitting those two. They're getting no damage to that whatsoever. Ace and the Lina, they've done nothing. Now the Aeon Disc goes out from Puppy, and no one pops his BKB and challenges. Go for the Spirit Siphon. Lotus Orb's gonna be able to bounce Walt. back a little bit, but he's still gonna be dead. Fada is dead for two minutes. Epicenter, nice, four staff away. Neither mid one nor Ace, but a Yule Scepter. Dodge the Laguna Blade, LSA still gonna land, and he will end up down. But Ace and mid one are gonna try and fight through through this. CM with the buyback here. Puppy's gonna try and slow down some of these heroes. Won't be able to catch them though. Mid one and ace, at least for now, will prolong the game by themselves. EP. No one's gonna pop the exits him outside his base now, blinking in straight on the mid one. They're gonna try and target him with the first strike. He managed to get a four staff away from it. No one's still gonna try to hunt him down. Yule Scepter buys him a little bit of time. The BKB rolling thunders, not doing a whole lot. Mid one managed to get the invis off before the infinite shots can finish him. Now Pasha is in the middle of this without his magic immunity, but he does have at least the physical invulnerability thanks to the Omni Knight. But Pasha still has to run himself away, and Abad is putting that blade nail to use now. Pasha gonna be chased out by Ace, turning and fighting now with the Aegis pop. No Aegis. Wants to be able to get some damage out, but can't really do it. So he has to force to himself onto the high ground. No HP, not a whole lot of mana to work with, and he's caught inside the tree, so he is dead, as is the Omni, the Omni Knight, too. who dies from Yapsor. Yapsor just snipes him. All right. It's just been high ground defense after high ground defense for this team. Ramses buys back. Pasha buys back. It is not going to deter Secret. They know there's no buyback on the Sand King. If they kept the timers going, indeed, they are going to grab the tower. The bear is dead. Not that the bear matters too much. These range heroes just ripping apart the Raxes. VP, not a whole lot of contest just yet. They're waiting for some sort of mistake from Secret. They're hoping to be able to slow him down long enough that the Sand King can come back alive. They need that initiation badly, but Secret just doing far too much. There's going to be a second set of racks down. They might just start going for top. And they're gonna start going for the tier fours, apparently. Not even caring. Exus isn't gonna pop now, no one jumps forward. Instantly, Aeon Disc is gonna activate now. Mid one's gonna be the target of all this, but Yule Scepter buys a little bit of time. They use the nullifier to cut him down. Mid one's in trouble. Mid one might go down, but the Glimmer came. They have no counter here once again. Ace, he's gonna die instead from Pasha. Fauna's gonna get ripped apart. Mid one goes down. Pasha, just one, two, three, four, takes them all out. Jumps forward, catching him. Pasha, Pasha. Well, kill them all. Ultra kill for Pasha. Secret have the buybacks, though, to defend. And they are sort of buyback en masse.
He's going to come in from the side somehow. His team probably needs him with him, though. Oh, Gambit is going to be able to save Poppy. Now the action goes the down. They're going to be able to catch the side. Midwine gets the high ground, though. Great use of the force staff. And now Yaps are rolling around with the rolling thunder, but no one does have the BKB still activated. You Lotus Orb, mid one, not going to be safe. Yule Scepter, a little bit of time, but Ace. he's still going to die. Ramsey's end up going down. And Ace needs to be able to get out of this one, but an impotent shot. Roger with the epicenter point blank on top of Ace will he surround him. him. He ends up catching him. It doesn't matter. The AOE damage will do its work. And VP know that carries are dead. The tier fours are theirs for the taking. Yapter is going to try and hold this all by himself. Bot is going to try and come in from the side. Glyph's going to be able to buy him a little bit of time. A little bit of breathing room for Yapster to start getting more and more damage on them. Nullifier on a solo. They're just trying to focus on some of the weaker heroes, but they just won't be able to get those numbers. Yapster goes down. No buyback there. Fada in the middle of everyone. Does manage, thanks to the Lotus Orb. Bounce back the Mist Coil and does manage to kill at least the Sand King. He buys back instantly. Puppy's dead. And Fada, the last man standing against VP in this best of one. That means nothing. He will stand to the bitter end. Damn you, VP! I will take you all <laughs> on, and they're just surrounding him. They're actually just dancing right now. <laughs> Celebrating their victory over their captive. Vada is a bad end. I'm so glad they decided to play the game like this. Oh, that was fun. That was, that was glorious. And no one with that move from the side, VP would...